gallop of thunder hooved vicissitude, she swept through the raced fields of circumstance, or swaying she talked between her heights and deep, uplifted or broken on time's incession. Above him, in a new celestial vault, other than the heavens beheld by mortal eyes, as on a fretted ceiling of the gods, an archipelago of laughter and fire, swam stars apart, in a rippled sea of sky. In a swift, eternal moment, fixed their life, or oh, ever a call Come back to longing eyes, calm heavens of imperishable light. Illumined continents of violet peace, oceans and the rivers of the mercy of God and the griefless countries and the purple sun. Nude god children in their play field ran smitting the wind with Splendor and with speed. When Earth was built in the unconscious void and nothing was saved, a material scene identified with sea and sky and stone, her young gods yearn for the release of soul, a sleeping object vague in animate. Life heard the call and left her native light, overflowing from her bright, magnificent plain on the rigid coil and sprawl of a mortal space. Here, too, the gracious, great winged angel poured her splendor and her sweetness and her bliss, hoping to feel a fair new world with joy. But 
Choir is a magic voice was on its way before her gifts could reach our prisoned hearts. A dark, ambiguous presence questioned all.